morning everyone or good day to you I hope you're all doing well today it's kind of cold down here in Florida overcast I guess we're going to have our Christmas party today and yes it won't be all raw <laughs> that's for sure uh, a lot of us try around here but it's crazy so I hope this finds you well I sure love every one of you thank you so much for taking your time and getting well and and working with us. You know, it isn't easy working with uh, a lot of people out there and keeping everybody happy and uh, trying to do our best. You know, we're just God people. We're just down to earth people, if I could use that word. We, we don't have any agendas other than to help people get well. And, and, and for me, my agenda is to, to uh, bring the God element out of you. And um, outside of that, I, I just don't really have any agenda. There's, there's, there's nothing for us. We have no money agenda here. Uh, we're not trying to become capitalists. And so it's sometimes we get these uh, messages from people and it's disheartening. And remember, I've been talking about, <laughs> I will say to all your spiritual people that times are going to get a little rougher before they get better. So hang on and try to get away from the mind as much as possible and maintain balance because uh, it's important that we maintain balance no judgment there's no sense in judging or cutting down others and good examples we have a gentleman here uh, Porsche Martini you know and he's been a client for quite a while he's been on the YouTube quite a while and he brings up this ridiculous thing about something about me I don't know what it was and something about Drew well, Drew is, uh, you know, he, he has Tourette's and he's working on his health issues. But you can't find a nicer loving soul on there. And what, what you don't hear when someone writes stuff like this is the other side of this. Like the, I call five times a day and if you don't get back with me within a few minutes, I'm mad at you. That sort of problem. That's what we have with these people like this. And um, I, I, for my part, you know... This, this individual made an hour appointment and then brought the family, which is a nice, beautiful family in. And I made time for them all, but somebody had to get pushed out of the way for that. And then they complain about us. And it's like the things we do to help you in the moment is we go the best we can. We don't have riches where we are here. Uh, you don't see us in an elaborate building. We, we just don't have that. And so I apologize if we can't get back with you in the next half hour but if it isn't life-threatening there are plenty of people with life-threatening problems that we do have to get back with so if you're not life-threatening please give us a little break on that if you would and Drew too he does his very best but for a while there he was inundated with work and we've hired more people and we're you know we're, we're doing our best and so we've had to hire several new people out there I think we hired three or four new people and just finding people to hire that's willing to work and willing to work with joy and happiness and, and love and take this on, that's another trip. So please be patient. And, and Bernie, uh, sweetheart, we, we've been, been over backwards to help you. you I mean, we have really been over backwards. So we've been over backwards to help everybody. But always address things. You know, I've said this to you before, I learned this in law. When somebody makes an accusation against you, address it. Or it stands out there like it's truth. So if you're going to make accusations against us, I'm going to address it. because, And then we're going to show you the truth. Because when you call me, you're going to get the truth. If we, if we slacked, I'll be happy to admit it and say, oops, you know, we're trying our best. But we have a load of critical, critical, critical people. I've never ran so many critical near-death people in my life. And so we're doing our utmost best to save everybody and help everybody. Uh, obviously, our society isn't into that type of thinking. Well, we are. And all of you on YouTube are doing such a beautiful job, too, to join hands and help your fellow man. We all come from the same God. If, if you all on the planet hadn't realized that, you can think you came from different gods, but... In reality, there's only one, and you all came from each, all of us sprung out of that consciousness. So we have to get back to realizing that. 
and giving each other some space a little to to grow and learn and and go through things because this is this is an interesting thing here. We took this one lady off cause, just because of her foul mouth here, but this is Mega Sampson at seventy three and no offense, honey, but uh, Beth Arian, uh, uh, you know when you say things like this. The first thing I think is important is that we enter life with an open mind because there are possibilities and probabilities out there that the human mind just can't put wrap itself around. And there's been documented cases of breatharian. This is a level of thinking that's probably beyond most of you, and that's okay. It's just worthy of conversation, that's all. No one here is trying to achieve it because that's impossible, I think, in today's world. So don't get too upset with things like this. You know, it's just conversation. And, you know, it's all cool. Always keep your mind open to grow. If you, if you don't, you, you're, you're housing yourself in little boxes. And, heck, anything's possible, isn't it? Isn't this the world of creation and God? Isn't anything possible? Yeah. So, you know, we, we live in these little boxes and we need to come out of them. And, and clear your eyes off a little bit from the from the cobwebs and the steam and look at the world from a higher level. Get out of your mind. And you'll start seeing new things. You know, it wasn't that long ago that raw foods was, oh my God, that's that's radical. That's ridiculous. How could you even... That same comment on Breatharian was made about raw foods. Now look at it. You know, there was a day that there was only meat-eating and vegetarianism. Vegan wasn't a word when I came along early on. These weren't, these weren't words yet. And there wasn't classifications, differences. You had the natural hygienic people were the most raw people out there. And they were all raw except one day a week. They allowed Friday for some cooked foods, steamed vegetables and stuff at night when you visited their fasting clinics. Been there many times. So some people, that's a stare. That's like, whoa, how could you do that? Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights. There's Catholic Catholicism. There's monks that go out. I forgot what the name of these monks are. But this is the Catholic faith. These monks go out in the desert and practice uh, 40 days of fasting and out-of-body experiences. Now, this is a deep sect within the, of the Catholic faith. Yet, traditional Catholics probably would freak if they heard that. But there was a beautiful, a special around these monks. I was really impressed. And so there, there's a lot of hidden things to the masses because the masses aren't ready. And so they make comments like this. But then in the, then in the wake of the day, they start learning and growing. So you do yourselves a real good favor if you just don't have any opinion and you let truth make itself known. And realize that anything's possible. You know, we are living these little bitty controlled lives here. And uh, that's part of the problem. People just operate in control life. But you see what happens when you start suppressing the rights and the freedoms of others? They go into movie houses and start killing people. They go into malls and start killing people. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's coming big. But the government doesn't get it. And that's because these are all controlled by the negative forces. As bad as that sounds, government is totally controlled by negative forces at this time. Notice they're not talking about giving us more freedom. They're talking about locking us into more boxes. And this is true all around the world. And yet all these beautiful souls, look in Syria, they're fighting for their freedoms. They're tired of these suppressions of, of Hitler types and, and, and of, of control freaks. Obama, control freak, big time. I mean, these are control freaks. And it's like, not that that's ridiculous. We're a people. We're a loving people wanting to have a beautiful experience on this rock. And it's a beautiful rock at this level. It's got some beautiful places. And we all should be enjoying that instead of fighting each other. So keep your wits about yourselves and keep yourselves balanced for what's coming. Because it is going to be rough, in my opinion. Just my opinion. Now, stranger I am. <laughs> I like that. I like that. There is a question that keeps getting thrown at me by numerous people regarding those who get sick by eating vegan over long periods of time. Never heard of that, except for detox experiences. Maybe that's what they're confused about. They say they regain their health back once they introduce meat back into their life. That's a bunch of crap. Uh, would you say it is a healing crisis? Absolutely. Good take. Good take, man. But I will say this, too. I also noticed that vegetarianism didn't yield any healthier differences than meat eating. That's for sure. 
when you look at a typical vegetarian back when I got into this, they would be the beans and the grains and they would eat everything else, but they just wouldn't have the meats. They'd have the pastas and everything else. So crude vegetarianism in the past, of course, definitely didn't yield anything better. And then, of course, people didn't understand the adrenals and neurotransmitters and what about the meat kicked up the neurotransmitters, would kept the nervous system up and blah, 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 blah. So people didn't understand that. But if you claim that dead tissue dead cells, dead tissue, is somehow miraculously healthy for you. And I just think you're, you're illusional because it just isn't true. Like this gentleman said he had to have fish. Well, I don't care. You know, if you want to have fish once or twice a week, I don't care. If you think it's, it makes you healthier, well, I just think you're delusional with that. But I, I do think that it's okay. And I think that if you feel that you have to have something, you probably do have to have it. You know, it's all in your consciousness. And if you just know you have to have that for health, that's what you probably do until you realize that you don't. You know, and it's just, these are different levels. Yeah, like I've said, I've, the healthiest level I've ever seen is fruititarianism. And if you'll get, listen to this, you'll see those people that are way out there on fruits are getting so much better quicker. Now, I agree there are those that are having trouble with that, with high candidas and stuff like that. You know, you know, you work yourself into these levels. I'm not advocating fruititarianism to live although it'd be nice. That's when I felt the best I ever felt. But maintaining that level of energetics and chemistry is very difficult because most humans are, are not balanced in their, in their consciousness. The mind is dominating their emotions, they're full of desires, and they're being sucked into the lower levels of creation which suck you into the lower levels of food. And I'll tell you, your eating is directly related to your state of consciousness. Directly. So your awareness dictates what you eat. And there's a point where that isn't true, of course, when you get up and you're doing this for balance and stuff. But initially, if you look around, man's diet is equal to the level of consciousness that, that it's there. But I, I don't care about those things. It, 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 you, we can argue dietary habits and things, and I, I've said this before. I think anyone that has a 50% fruit, berry, and melon diet, and then maybe a 40% vegetable diet and a 10% meat diet, eh, you're going to live long and be healthy. No question. Get rid of the milks and, and all the grains and all that out of your life. You'll be, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't care about those things anymore in my life. God is the only thing I care about and helping this planet get well. But if you want to get well and detox, how interesting is it? You have to follow these protocols I've been getting you or good luck. Go out there and keep going the way you're going. I don't care that you see what's happening to a lot of YouTubers are getting well after years and years down. Thousands of them world over. And my clients, you know, there are some people who are hard to save, no question. Hard to save because your mind's out of balance and you get out of balance. We had one lovely soul, uh, had uh, cancer in the rectum, cancer in the liver. She was coming, even the hospital said, my God, you're looking so much better. Well, she's mental health problems. She couldn't keep herself balanced, so she lost her lost her place to stay. And, and these people were bending over backwards for her, getting her. I never saw grapes this big. They found her big black organic grapes this big, and this lady just couldn't keep it together, you know. And it's just too bad because she could have saved herself. Now she isn't a chance in heck. So it's just that's the problem here. You've got to try and attempt to get inside of yourself and grab what you know and keep yourself balanced right now because the negative forces are pulling and ripping and everything else. And we must be stand strong with love and, and beauty and joy and happiness. We must give that forth so everyone else can have that. We must stand against the negative forces. If you don't, you'll be swallowed up by them, I guarantee you. So we have to be strong. And you're standing strong with a large group of people in the world now doing the, the fruits and the berries and the melons and the vegetables. But in terms of lifestyles, I don't really care what you find for your own balance. It's connected to your spirituality and what you want to do and where you're going and, and your life and your stresses and your, <coughs> excuse me, your responsibilities that you take on. That's a stressor. So all these things that you do, you know, sometimes requires lower forms of food once in a while. I mean, it just happens. So I think the biggest issue here is let's, let's don't judge. Let's just uh, work with what works. We're into detoxification on this channel. We're about taking people from Sickville to Wellville. What you decide to do after that's up to you and your balances. 
but uh, I'll try to keep that together if you can. You guys are so good. I love you guys. You're so good. I had a beautiful girl in from St. Pete the other day. Uh, another great YouTuber, you know, and you all are just doing well, and you get it. Uh, I just love to talk to you guys, because it's like this uh, stranger I am. He gets it. He understands that, and that is. There is a long, unwinding, unwinding road that one has to go through in detox to get to Wellville, especially those that have a lot of weaknesses. The outside world judges when they don't even have a clue to what they're even judging. So that's the problem we fight as spiritual people, the judgment of others uh, from their lack of, of awareness and lack of understanding. And uh, uh, I think it's important that we teach also to teach people to get away from that too. It, it's locking them into negativity. And we, we want to bring that high spiritual love, joy, beauty out. However you choose to, to do that. But again, creation is both sides. And you will have those negative people, you will have those negative influences, and you will have that. That is nature, that is the way it is. But for those that are awakening, stand taunt and uh, strong, and uh, you'll be just fine, because there's a lot of spiritual beings out there working with everyone, and a lot of you are seeing us in your dreams and stuff like that, and it's just the way it's supposed to be. And just let yourself grow and have fun and, uh, you know, just love others. Because remember, what you put out swaps right back at you, right back at you. And especially when you're doing it toward me or spiritual people, you're going to get it back quicker. It's just the way it is. I remember um, I was security, I was head of security for Darwin Gross, who was the living Eckmaster for a number of years after Paul Twitchell. And he was threatened a lot by a biker group, uh, real, I don't, I don't know if they were the outlaws or who they were, and so the police department called me in, from Miami and said this uh, biker group has been threatening Darwin and they're on their way to, to kill him. So I was, again, I got the sec uh, my security people and we, we, we tightened down the hotel and everything and uh, he never showed up. Well, we found that next morning the uh, a deputy came by and said this guy was killed on the highway coming. So you have to be real. My eyes are going, whoo. So we have to be careful, you know, because there's no sense in bashing each other. There's no reason for it. We're here to seek and find the truth. And that's all this is. So uh, good, good, good take, you guys. Good take there. Uh, let me see here. I cannot thank you enough for information. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your kindness, you guys. And improving my vegan diet every every day, your wisdom and truth. Oh, thanks so much. If I had to pay you, a pay, oh, yeah, thanks. I would be more in debt than the federal. Oh, thanks, Jared. Thank you so much for your lovely comments, guys. I mean, because this is us. This is us together as a team, strong, good team. And I think this is important that the world see that because the world is looking, and it's looking at natural health, and it's looking at detoxification because it doesn't understand. It has, been, it has been hidden from the masses. So we represent, we represent the God side of life. We represent the love side of life. We represent the health side of life. So be strong, because if we don't represent it, who will? That's what I'm saying. So we must be strong. And you all are just beautiful people. Appreciate it. Oh, this is my fresh Amish made apple cider. <laughs> Mm. I drove a long way and bought a whole bunch. Mm. Ah, fresh made apple cider. Yes, it is fermented a little bit. Okay. How long would it take for skin issues such as acne and rashes to, to clear? And that's a good question. It's a good legitimate question. Uh, this is uh, Rena. You know, it depends how bad your limb system is, quite frankly. Get your eyes, take a look at them. And that's what I love about you. You guys are learning how to read the eyes, and this is just a big help for you in every way, shape, or form. Isn't it a beautiful little science? Mothers can use it. People can use it. Help each other. Just a beautiful little science. But uh, it depends on your lymph system and what? How fast you can get your kidneys to filter. Remember, that's, that deals with the adrenals. And the younger people have so much chronic adrenals. Don't get upset, but it could take you a little longer than what you'd like. I mean, look at Babe. She's, she's like 500 days on juices, but a, a lot of vegetable juices. And you'll see the difference. When Babe finally shifts off the vegetables and goes to fruit, it'll accelerate in a fraction of the time. 
But it's just the way it is, you know. And so it's a balance that this person has to have because of the extreme chemical toxicity that they've been subjected to. So we're all at different levels of this sort of thing. It's enough to say is once you understand what you're doing, keep going until you clear it up because there's nothing else out there. You won't find anything else out of the supplement world. Most of you have already been through that one. Most of you have been through the chemical medication world and gotten deeply sick. So th these are, you're, you're doing the right thing. Now let me see. I am taking your herbs, adrenals, kidneys, and lymph. And I would go after my bowels too. Clean up my GI tract. Do a couple of lymphatics, one capsule, one, one say, a lymph node or something. And clean your lymph system out that way. Uh, you might have to go up to two kidneys or something. You could take the skin formula. could make it worse. It could make it better. <laughs> you just have to see. Sometimes the skin formula just kicks people's butt and just starts opening everything up. So just hang in there, dear one. Oh, this is good. 100% fruits through the day and salads at night. Now, if you want to kick it up a little faster then leave off the salads uh, for for like five days or ten days or something like that and then come back on them you know and kind of do those short little fasts like that and you keep pull, excuse me keep pulling keep pulling keep pulling it seems as if my skin keeps getting worse and worse if i just get really stressed well you know why because stress is the adrenals and kidneys and lower back well that shuts it down even more that turns on the epis again, your, your adrenalines again, and shuts down your dopamines and acetylcholine. So you're, you're, you shut down elimination under stress, and, and you start to see everything start to exacerbate like that. And that's just common. Of course, and you probably run low steroids, too. So the, the fear here is cholesterol issues here. No one can seem to solve my problem with my skin. Well, it's just that you have to dig, dig, and clean that out. And if you're, if you're a long time getting this, that just shows you the lymph system. Give me a couple, of, a picture of your eyes if you want, and uh, label this, Rena, and, and, and show toxic skin problems on there. And so I'll show that up here on the camera, and then we'll take a look at you. Uh, skin except tell me that I am consuming too much sugar through fruit. Oh, that's bull crap. That's ridiculous. This is about acids and the lymph system. It has nothing to do with sugars and fruit, and fruit doesn't have too much sugar. Simple sugar. And, you know, because something tastes sweet, we judge the amount of sugar something has in it by the sweetness of it. But eat a piece of bread. A uh, piece of whole grain bread, not overly sweet, but it is hundreds of times sweeter than fruit. So you see what I'm saying? It's not the flavor that makes it sugar rich. So it's just you have to understand those things, and, and it's not that at all. Um, if you want, if you want to, you know, move to the uh, to the uh, acid fruits, then you could argue that even more. That you know, here, here's a bitter, but uh, uh, even your uh, your oranges should never be bitter. But anyway, anything like uh, lemons and stuff might help you. Go on a uh, ten day lemon juice fast, or go to twenty days, and really start tugging on that. Check your urine for sediment. If you're not seeing sediment, then you're not going to see skin improvement. Why would you see skin improvement if you're not if your if your weaknesses aren't being fixed? And you're trying hard, and just don't get frustrated, guys. I'm going to only tell you. And you hear many that's clean their skin things up. It just takes some time. And uh, some people have a lot of lymphatic problems, a lot of them. And especially for those that have had dairy in any form whatsoever, you're going to have a lot of lymphatic problems. So hang in there, Rena. You'll be okay, honey. Timmy Sweets. <laughs> Cute. Hey, Doc, have you had any experience with royal jelly for the adrenals? No, but I love royal jelly. What a kick. That's not my number one ingredient in my superfood blend. We pay for it. But boy, I tell you, I can't imagine any more chemistry than that. So I don't know. Try that. There have been some claims out there, but see what you let me know how you feel using the royal jelly to pop up the adrenals. You need the adrenals, though, to utilize all that chemistry in the royal jelly. How, how ironic everything is, you know. But uh, thanks for the question there, Timmy. Hmm. This is Iwana. Uh, hi, Iwana. Uh, she sent me her pictures of her eyes in a questionnaire. So uh, uh, I think I uh, either I've done that or I'm going to. This time I have a question about my 22-year-old son. He has been just told by his dentist that he needs to remove all his wisdom teeth. And on top of that, he has calcification in his left parotid gland. Well, again, this just all shows acidosis. Remember, acids... It's why you see the withdrawal and then the calcification of calcium. 
the ionization of calcium in an acidic medium is assured. The problem is, is that's the medium that it's going to pull it into as an antacid. So again, the war between the two sides of chemistry. But whenever you see calcifications or cholesterol, know immediately this is an acid problem. Well, look at the teeth. You might look at your son's parathyroid gland too, just to see if he's having involvement in here. He might be having some suppression of the parathyroid, which would, could create teeth to grow in too crowded or anything like that. If this is a lymphatic problem, the way they're removing the wisdom teeth, uh, then, then you have to look at that problem. So it would be rare that at 22 years old today, you would not have a lymphatic problem. You'd probably be considered a very rare species, <laughs> and especially the adrenals and kidneys. So this is, again, tearing after the lymph system, getting this lymph moving, even through the parotid gland, and, and so you can dissolve that calcification. And it just shows that he's very acidic in his saliva. Check his pH of his saliva, but get him on the fruits and the vegetables and get that saliva alkaline again, and then and get that parathyroid up, and teeth can realign themselves. But you're talking, when you get way up there, you've got to get way up there to have the the body realign itself. This uh, lady was in here that was on the YouTube from St. Pete feels her whole body realigning itself. Isn't that cool? I love that. And I've said this before, I have plenty of x-rays over here that even Fox News film that shows the body realigning itself after extreme uh, augmentation. So I just think that's cool stuff. We have to get realize the power of the creator is unreal and how do you tap that? And that's what we're talking about. How you diminish it is what we've been doing. We've been pulling ourselves further away from the source instead of moving toward the source. Now all of you guys are moving toward the source. That's cool stuff. Uh, the doctor also recommended that he gets an, an MRI. Uh, his left ear is always clogged and in the past he had an uh, outer ear infection. The dentist also recommended that he gets an MRI. What would you recommend for him be? Well, I'll say this. You know, <laughs> you got the toxic effects of the MRI dyes. So you got a lot of things there. Uh, if you had an ultrasound, maybe it'd be okay uh, without any dyes or anything. The other thing to this, though, uh, is the, um, the ear infections. Right there, hands down, tells you that he's lymphatic up bag, big time. And if this is the left ear, then guess which side did he has these problems more on? That would be the left kidney and left adrenal gland. So really, this is a case like you, sweetheart, where you've got to get your lymph system moving and get some of these tissues that are coming down your genetic tree, get them up in their thinking. And, and that's, of course, the living foods and the herbs do that. And so it, it, it's great to do that. But your son looks like he's got a little bit of a detoxification focus to do and get this lymph drained. Highly recommend two or three candles per ear and probably going to at least three candles for this left ear. And you might have to redo that uh, several times as you go down through the next several months. But I would definitely candle this young man's ear. I wish I knew about ear candles when I had ear aches growing up from all the friggin' milk. But I, my family didn't. And I wish they had it, but it saved me a lot of pain and crying and things like that. Uh, sorry, I just realized that I messed up my email. I just sent you. I was about calcification in my son's program, not... Well, I understood that. It doesn't matter. I understood what you were talking about, dear. I understand that. But yeah, that's what you have to do. Because uh, keep that... Get stuck moving that lymph and getting those interstitial fluids more base balanced. And, and then you'll find all the calcifications dissolving away and you'll find the ear draining and the sinuses draining. And I would also recommend that you work on your son's GI tract because remember we talk a lot about the connection of the bowels to the head. Considering that embryonic trunk on top of the head in the embryo stages is the gut tissue. So clean that up as well as the kidneys and adrenals. At 22, you're going to have all those things to deal with. And then your son will be good. Uh, let me see. Monkey... Monkey butterfication? <laughs> I think part of the reason raw food people look old is for the same reason my uh, iguana gets sick. 
When fed a diet of store-bought organic greens, my iguana gets sick, loses weight, and her ribs and hips stick out. She also loses appetite. When I feed her homegrown food, she gets fat, uh, chipper, and can't eat enough. Isn't that amazing? I tell you something, smart animals here. You know, <laughs> the sad thing is a lot of us are stuck with grocery stores and stuff. I know. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, this is a good look right here. This individual's bringing up a good point. And uh, I, I remember that... Uh, Diamond Organics in California used to have some good organic food. And I don't know if the FDA shut them down or what, but we're going to, I'm hoping to get all these people the FDA has abused and have uh, violated their rights. We're going to come back and get them because you just can't allow that to happen. And they're, they're just now, they don't care. They're like those commercial or those movies where they have the big guys with the guns and they come in and they storm little innocent people. And, and yeah, that's what's going on right now. Take a look at it. It's going on all over the place. These guys just don't care. And, of course, look at the EPA now on the water. That was funny. They're going to start dubbing water as a controllable factor by the government. You see that? It's going to happen. I'm telling you. It isn't long, and you're going to see mass control of the government of every facet of your life. It's just coming, and, and, unless we step up. She also loses appetite. Okay, store-bought is empty and lacks nutrition and, ra and is irradiated. Is the same. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. I know, honey. I know. I know, and yet, and yet, and yet, we've had people just miraculously get well eating out of these places because there's no other place for them to eat. You know, I, you know, it's hard in a position like mine not to feel anger once in a while over these things, and I just try my best just to go, you know what, it is what it is, but at the same time, we have to stand up and do something about it. So I think if we all keep griping at agriculture and stuff and farmers and say, please get your head out of your butts and start growing good food, forget the fertilizers, forget Monsanto, forget this crap, and start thinking, how do I restore the vibrancy of my earth? And really start working with that. I like the pyramid greenhouse thing, and that's for sure. So absolutely, we have to do that. Well, man doesn't realize that his food is the source of his unhealthiness yet. <laughs> Imagine that. You know, and, and here's as a person that watches her iguana, uh, when, or his when 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 they're eating store bought versus fresh. I mean, it's just it's just in our faces. Of, this is truth. Is the way it is. There's no argument over that. It's truth. But now we have to do something about it. And I'm hoping a lot of farmers will get the message. You know, we're trying. We've I think we've converted three big Amish dairy farmers, but. You know, we just got to convert these dairy farmers and get them out of the thinking of dairy foods because it just isn't worth it. Uh, dairy farming to me isn't worth it, <laughs> to say the least, and uh, and the milks aren't worth it. So, be good, nice to turn all the dairy farms into uh, take all that cow poo and turn it into major vegetable farms or and fruits. That'd be pretty cool. Hope to heal. That was perfect. Uh, that was perfect. Day perception is almost eerie. My stomach is screwed up. If I eat anything off your diet recommendations, my stomach twitches and my lower chest, upper stomach feels painful. When I used to eat inorganic, I would get acid reflux almost every time. Proteins, animal products, or nuts, and my chest hurts bad, radiating from my stomach. I am getting the heal all tea. I just got the ten week protocol and look for. Oh, well, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Hope to heal. You will. You will. And you know what? Make it so. You know, and, and there's another thing in spirituality, you know, is uh, make it so. You are the one. The buck stops with you. Your consciousness. You're the divine. You, you were sent here as a representative of the God. So you make it so. Make it so. You will be well. You know? You will. Don't hope. You will. And you will. And, uh, but uh, you're doing good, hope to heal. And you just hang in there. But that's the way it is. I, I, I have no agenda for fruitarianism. I have no agenda. You can see I don't really care. But I can tell you what works and what doesn't work in detoxification. I think I, I've had enough years. This is my 41st year. I think I have enough experience behind that to, to be triple and as many uh, uh, healings that we've had worldwide. It's been amazing. And it's just, but it's just what is. And I think when you look at it through chemistry and physics and spirituality or God or whatever, it all fits. And I think truth is, is what this planet needs a lot of. Too bad we can't vaccinate with truth as opposed to toxic uh, drugs. 
This is a cold dark night. Ooh, six six six. Ooh, wow. Cold dark night six six six. Well, cold dark night six six six. Guess who's the light within the darkness? You. You are the light, my friend, and you be the light and let the darkness run and hide. Hi, I'm from Quebec. Canada, and I would like to know if it's possible to have Dr. Morris reading my eyes. I could send a good high definition. Yeah, send one in. I mean, you know what? I'm having fun doing that. I, I love it when that mother said I, I looked into my child's eyes and I saw kidney weakness. I didn't love the weakness, but I love the fact that the mama can look at the baby and say, oh, look what I have to work with. That makes everything worth it. So send me your eyes and we'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, and we'll have one more... Uh, Irish reading thing. Uh, this is uh, Simbre. Uh, hey, man. Uh, let me see. I am working in kidney dialysis for seven years. Do you think it's possible for these patients to regenerate their kidneys to function normally again? It just puzzles me on how more people are coming into this profitable business. If so, where do you start with these people? You know, this is a good guy. And, you know, I was telling you about that dialysis nurse that got real sick from working in dialysis. So I hope you keep your health there. Uh, absolutely. You know, it's a trip when you're on dialysis. And I'll give you an example. There was, uh, there was a famous chef, and he was urinating quite well until, of course, his kidneys were breaking down a little at a time, and his creatine got above three, I think it got three to four. They put him on dialysis, and then he quit peeing a few months after that, totally. Well, let me tell you, you know, when you're looking at that, you have to wonder what part of dialysis could be effective to that. Acid stripping the blood? I don't know. I don't know. You guys will know you would know more about dialysis procedures than what. It's enough to say that you can always regenerate tissue, my friend, always. And you would start with kidney formulas, adrenal formulas, because adrenal turns on kidneys. But you would want to get a couple of it. I use two kidney formulas nowadays because people, just like you said, you're seeing more and more people enter dialysis. And this guy's going to see a lot of young people start coming to dialysis more and more and more. The 30-year-olds, the 20-year-olds, the teenagers. And it's like, oh my God, yes, you can regenerate kidneys, but you can't on protein. Because that's what degenerates them. I mean, if you took two people and we could do a test study, although that other person that does the high proteins would have to be willing to lose their kidneys, <laughs> saying you can test that way, you wouldn't need a double blind study. But, uh, uh, and the proof of it, though, is simple, is that when we get you off of proteins and we get you more on the fruits, berries, and melons, even above the vegetables, fruits, berries, and melons, uh, you start regenerating your kidneys. Here's the problem. The problem in dialysis is too much fluids, okay, so you have to be careful about over drinking water and stuff because that's one reason you're going to dialysis. So you have to be careful about too much fluid, so you, you wouldn't want to juice the fruits, berries, and melons. You probably want to be, keep the melons uh, down unless you're self-urinating. Dialysis three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, generally. Uh, also, when you start messing with dialysis, your phosphorus and your and your protein start going up. Phosphorus and your potassium start going up like this. Well, the reason potassium, one reason, is the adrenal glands, of course. And so sometimes we have to blow through these, even though it freaks out the uh, renal specialists. We have to blow through them to get you off of dialysis. Our success with dialysis has been somewhat minimal because people get tired and some people take a while to get off and others have gotten off. So you just spend a world of regenerating because outside of that, I don't know. And when you're on dialysis, you definitely want to pump a superfood blend or something like that when you get back from dialysis. Notice how your blood pressure takes a dump and everything takes a dump. Uh huh. So it affects the adrenal glands as well. So whatever that procedure is, is definitely a negative one to the kidneys. It doesn't improve them. And so we need to get them Get, start going in and rebuilding those kidneys. This is a really good question, a really important question, and this guy here is an important fellow because he's in there seeing what's going on here. So, uh, good question, my friend. Excellent question. And uh, you get them all off of proteins. You start them on fruits, berries, and melons at least half of the day, and then you can have some vegetables the other half. Stay light on too much juices and water, and then keep working them back. I use two kidney formulas. I'd, I'd, I'd start out with a, with only a small lymphatic formula with this because especially if you're not filtering anymore 
Uh, I would wait till I start filtering more to kick it up too much. So I'd do maybe a lymphatic one liquid and just keep that one, but do two kidney formulas and definitely want to do an adrenal, like adrenal glandular, because you're going to need that kind of power to, to, to buffer dialysis and then work, work these people back into a state of wellness. It doesn't matter how long it takes to get well if you're in a situation that is making you, uh, uh, a, a, and you're going downhill more and more. It's better, whatever it takes. Um, you know, it's, I, there's times I thought we could knock this stuff like that, but now I think we can knock it like that. <laughs> uh, this is Vidra. Uh, hey, Dr. Morris, uh, please be careful. Our federal government has always uh, causing people. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could disappear. No question. No question. Uh, and this is true, uh, especially in George Bush's time. There were a couple people that disappeared. Uh, one was using Tetzla's stuff and uh, getting out there pretty far with some inventions. And he, uh, he had uh, invented some neat stuff. And uh, uh, I had this constitutional attorney years ago. And so he was, he, somehow he ended up with this attorney that I had had. And I found out about this guy through the attorney. My attorney he called and he said, you know, this guy, we can't find him. You know, I don't know what to say. And then you have all the fusion centers. Uh, even even uh, Roger, who was high up in FEMA, would told me about the fusion centers. Well, that was on Jesse Ventura's show. You know, I think that people have to stand up and regain their power back, or you were going to be herded off to these centers or somewhere. And all I can say is there's karma. And so you have to realize that what looks bleak, you have the positive forces coming in. Well, how does the positive forces come in creation if no one's channeling them? That's why it's so important that you guys always keep your balance and always give love and God to the world. Be a vehicle. Be open. Don't be in the way of the God force. Step aside and let the God force use your consciousness. That's why stop thinking and you'll feel the God force go up in you so much more. It's not even funny. And that is the power that the mind can't control. That power created the mind. So that's why it's so important at this level for all the spiritual people. Get away from your opinions. Get away from your desires. Go the Jesus, Buddha, Mohammed route. Go the route of, of, of the now and, and go the route of health. And, and, and you'll see that all turn around. Because all, and that's why it's important that all of us become very strong. You know what's funny about governments? They like to keep getting reelected. So absolutely, I understand that. But I also have reached this. You know, that little red line in the sand that is Syria with, with the uh, chemical weapons? Well, that's where we should be with the FDA. And I'm this way with our federal corrupt judges. And enough is enough is enough. Because when there's no law left, then it's a lawless land. And that's what's going on right now. There's a lot of good judges out there. There's also a lot of very corrupt ones. And... Uh, we can't have that anymore in this world. We need to we need to pick it up. But then again, you know, this is where the negative karma is ran off here, obviously, you know. So uh, the important thing is that you get that love and that and that joy and your happiness back and, and, and it doesn't matter what's going on on the outside. Let the karma run off with people, you know, and I think sometimes forget that too, is when you see someone that's been damaged considerably, you have to understand that. Maybe we can't see what they did to someone else in past lives or whatever. You have to consider that. Because if you look at this whole thing, nothing explains it any better than karma and reincarnation, actually. Now, to some Christians, that's like, whoa. But if you look at the agnostics and you look at Jesus, they did talk about it. So the thing is, it's the only reason you can explain why someone's suffering one lifetime over another. Because if you don't look at it that way, you look and say, "Oh man, what, what, you know, what did they do? What, what, you know, they, they were unblessed or something like that." And that's that's not accurate. This is a very precise world in chemistry and physics, and and it's not just it's, from science. It's you. It, it's for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. That's science. Jesus said, "You reap what you sow," and it just simply means what you put out is the energy you put out is what you get back. You know. Try giving someone a lot of anger sometime, and that's what you'll get back. They'll start getting defensive and angry. Give someone love and put sugar on it. It's a lot better. 
And I, I, I try to fit somewhere between both of those. Because sometimes I have to get a little strong and a little firm. But I want to like to do it with love. Here's a good one. J.R. Star. J.R. Five Star. Mm, hi, honey. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. I appreciate that. You are a sweetheart. Thank you for your love. You are, too. You know what? It takes one to know one. That's what I say. This is a water full of love. I thought I would read this. I just kind of scanned this water full of love. I haven't haven't heard you for a while here. Or just maybe I you're buried in here and apologize. I'm just doing my best. But the water full of love. My stance on the subject of beauty and raw food versus SAD, standard American diet or standard American diets or standard diets around the world, comes down to fats and other things we have yet to discover. Different molecules better build uh, different parts of the body. I truly believe the best overall diet is ro mostly raw, high greens, some cooked foods, and even a little lean meat, especially fish. I do believe meat is good for you, Dr. Morse. Fish is meat, and I will challenge you until the end of time if you say thinking fish is uh, healthy is ignorant. No, it's just dead tissue, and it stinks if you let it out too long. No, I'm, I disagree with maybe the health part of it, but I agree with the balance part of it. I don't mind. But this is detoxification water full of love, and you have to put that aside for a little while. You can, it's a good diet. You can do well with that. You don't have enough fruits and, best, fruits and berries and melons in this, but if you add the fruits, berries, and melons. Fats are essential, but fats are the second essential. When I look at this, my feeling is this. Sugar's number one. Why? Factual physiology. You don't get carbon, you're dead. That's it. Cells have to have carbon, like your gas, like your, like your car has to have gas. Gas is carbon. Carbon is essential to get adenosine triphosphate, ATP. Now it's just carbon and oxygen coming together. Well, carbon is carbohydrates, and oxygen comes from your carburetor. That's essential. So there's, there's no arguing that one. If you do, you just don't get it. Now, secondary, fatty acids, not fats, fatty acids. Absolutely. And also amino acids. I'm not against amino acids. I'm against proteins. I'm against starch. And I'm against polysaccharides, complex sugars. Complex sugars are polysaccharides. Complex fats are, are considered saturated fats or so. And then you've got your uh, a protein, which is concentrated amino acids. The human body is not a complicated or, con or complex organism, and they don't have complex digestive abilities. We don't. We have simple digestive abilities. It's just a fact. Look at how you're designed. So I agree with you, water full of love. You got to have your fatty acids. That's brain and nerve function. Absolutely. But they come in fruits and berries and melons and vegetables. Absolutely. It's the question of how much do you think you need. Well, let's take a look at that. You know, you have to understand, go back to the four processes we've talked about. And you think about how, how real this is. When you're looking at anyone, including yourself, these four levels of thinking have to be there if you want to get to Wellville. Number one, you must digest what you're eating. Is that not true? All right, so which is the easiest foods on the planet to digest? Fruits, berries, and melons. Your, your vegetables are much more complex. And if you notice, proteins are very complex. They even need an acid first. So you've got, you've got uh, all these complex foods. Well, you know, every time you enter a complex food, X amount of energy is involved in its processing. Well, if you lose too much energy and you're already chronic fatigued and you're putting in foods that are hard to digest, don't expect to have a lot of energy. Remember on Christmas Day and Thanksgiving Day when we eat heavy foods, we sit there and want to go to sleep? Absolutely. You don't want to do that while you're wanting to get well on detox because you're not going to detox and get well. It's that simple, you know? So you have to eat a, a little lighter, you know, in that respect. So it's just understanding what would be the second thing. Make sure you're absorbing. Well, the tool you have is I've given it to you, and even iridologists don't talk about that tool, and that is the cholerate around the bowel. When it's thick, that's malabsorption, and you will see the malabsorption ring correlating with it, always. And so this is malabsorption. You have to fix that. Well, what system deals with malabsorption? Uh, uh, is it celiac? No. Lymph. Lymph, lymph, lymph. 
There is you got to move that lymph system. All right. So then what's the third thing? Let's say you digest well. You absorb your nutrition adequately into the bloodstream. What would be the third thing that's essential that most nature paths, of course, forget the medical doctors. What do you have to do with that nutrition? Take it to cells? You need something in between them, and that's called steroids and hormones. And you need a look, study your adrenal glands and look at all the mineral cortical steroids that is essential for the utilization of zinc, selenium, magnesium. All these things require steroids. Well, that's not taught very much to people. Not at all. So you have to have good adrenal glands. So if you take all this chemistry and you can't utilize it, guess what could happen to you? Yeah, you can start giving yourself mineral toxicity. Uh, that's a big problem, especially if some of it turns into, especially with highly acidic bodies, rocks. And so that's important. And what would be the fourth thing that is essential to wellness? Elimination, not just of digestive waste, Cellular waste. Got to remember the cells. That's the biggest problem we face is the removal of cellular waste in a timely manner. Those are acids, and if you don't remove them, the end result is inflammation, pain, swelling, and then the loss and function of tissue wherever it is. And, of course, this is a systemic problem, so generally you see little problems popping up all around your body. They're not individually different. It's just the same system. So you have those four phases, guys, that are essential that you have to go through to get well. And, of course, we start with elimination because if you don't fix that, that's why all these things have failed, ironically, is that that lymph system, when you don't eliminate cellular waste, it starts breaking down the body. Pancreas, liver, starts breaking down your digestive ability. That goes out the roof. A lot of you already know that and having that problem. How about absorption? That, that, I'd say 75% of the people fall into some degree of malabsorption, if not more. And then you have the problem with elimination. Not just of digestive waste, remember, cellular waste and parasitic waste. You know, little bacteria leave a little doo-doo. That's got to go, but what system does it go in? The system that they're in, the lymph system. Absolutely. So remember, those things are essential before a person can be well. So you can't judge a lot of these health people. Like we were talking about the other day, like Victor Kavinkas, he didn't look well. But I looked at him as malabsorption and parathyroid. Look at the wrinkles on his uh, picture back in uh, survival until the 21st century. That was parathyroid. Well, this is part of his karmic, his, uh, his genetics. And we're not taught back then to fix those things. Let me tell you, we're just getting into raw foods, let alone understanding the deeper issues of the body and how it works. Are you kidding? And then a lot of those people did not become practitioners. They're just health people, uh, uh, you know, spouting off idealisms of, of sprouditarian or whatever level you want to think. Okay, I don't care. I mean, it's not worth arguing if you want to be a sprouditarian, if you want to be a fruititarian, and dear, if you want to be a breatharian, who cares? Would you be interested if it's possible? I mean, it's just an idea, isn't it? It's not an idea for me. It's come back all from years and years back. A lot of your health greats thought of that. Not just me. I'm just echoing what a lot of us think. So don't get upset about things. Part two, the water full of love. Of course, we face a problem with meat such as fish because they are, and that's obvious, so that, that's a taker. And then the other one, as you say, beautiful people on the outside are not beautiful on the inside. Sure, that is true. If you're uh, getting plenty of fats, yeah. Thanks for the comments, uh, water full of love. I haven't talked with you while. I appreciate it there. I've also, uh, yeah, I'm telling you about asparagus. I haven't worked with asparagus root yet enough to, uh, to know that. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Morris, this is voice teacher. This is a voice teacher. I would first like to say that following your advice, I have managed to keep from getting sick while my co-workers have been battling the flu and other illnesses. Thanks for that freedom. Well, your, your co-workers are not eating good, and you're eating better. You're taking care of yourself, and you're getting the results, and that's what this is about, is taking care of yourself and getting well. 
So they are going to get sick because their lymph systems are a mess. And don't forget, you're a voice teacher, and if you have a healing crisis in your voice box, don't get upset because you'll come back stronger and with more air. And that's why it's important that your adrenals get up so your, your autonomic nervous system is strong. Then you'll have more air, more power behind that air. Get the mucus out of the voice box, and then you'll have more tone and clarity and everything else. Well, it's just detoxing and strengthening any tissue that's weak there. My question is this. My wife is breastfeeding our third child and is concerned that if she starts a fruit-heavy detox diet that she will detox into her milk. Well, this is... Well, I don't think she'll detox so much in her milk, but the nature of her milk could start detoxifying the baby. Uh, will this happen as the lymph gets moving? I know that uh, uh, sweat helps us detox, but will she risk detoxing through her breast milk? You know, it's... It, Thomas, I guess it's possible uh, to tell you the truth, but I don't think so. That's more lymphatic. Most detoxes, the lymph system, the blood's already halfway decent. You're going to be cleaning the spleen and liver with the herbs anyway, so it'll clean the blood even better. And I don't think that's a, a milk thing, really. I think the glands, if the toxicity in them, I think that'll filter through. But uh, I think she'll be okay there. Um, but if anything, it'll make the milk better for the child. And that's the thing. A lot of people that eat a lot of proteins and fats as the mama also make the milk that way. And then babies can't handle breast milk. Because if you notice, babies can't handle high protein and high fat. And that's what these stupid formulas are all about. Well, look at the cases we've talked about in previous videos that are very uh, disturbing and it just wants to break you down in your heart and make you cry. This is just sad stuff. And so, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have to say that uh, uh, the baby will be healthier if the mama eats healthier. And I wouldn't worry about that. The lymph system grouts through the kidneys and everything like that. So I think it'll actually help the baby. I would probably stay minimal with the herbs, though. I'd probably just let the diet do it until I get, get that baby up to about a year. My thinking, you know. So did X Factor, did the people get it right last night? I like the cowboy. I think the young girl is a butt-kicking woman. i never seen a 13-year-old with a voice like that. She should win because she's the best. She's incredible. I like the girls, too. I really do. I think they're a really nice harmony. They're going to make a good girl band. You'll see uh, 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 Simon take them under their wing because I don't think they'll win, but I think they, they'll have a, an album out. Simon's going to make them go like crazy. And he's going to make the three guys go. You know that. So all those guys are good. All right, this is uh, 04116 MKM. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Dr. Morris. Thank you. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm glad you guys like these videos. I don't know. I'm just doing my best to help you all, so I'm hoping you're appreciating them. Uh, for those that don't, I'm sorry. I just do the best we can here. But hang in there. We're all working together here, you know. I'm giving you everything I know. I know I got a lot of stored stuff in there because years ago I decided to turn and go from intellectualism to simplicity, especially when I realized that it would help me spiritually. Why would I get involved with the mind so much? And that was my problem. I was trying to find the solutions through what already people were thinking, and it's not there. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh... I was wondering if you can go over swollen lymph nodes again. And this is a good question. I have developed them on the right side of my neck, behind my right ear, in my left groin, and above my left clavicle. I have been 80 to 100% raw for the past two years. I, look your April, I took your April class, and it was awesome. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah, I remember you. Mm -hmm. I have been on your detox herbs on and off, but I have to stop due to finances. Do you think swollen lymph nodes can be a side effect of detox? They can be, honey, if you're not filtering good. So try to at least uh, forge some kidney uh, uh, a kidney formula or two. Uh, get the heal all tea and drink the holy crap out of it, I guess. Uh, keep working with the fruits, berries, and melons on those kidneys. I would do lymph node too, at least, a liquid, uh, at, at that and maybe two kidney formulas, just those three then, and then, um, um, you know, get, get honking, because you've got to get those kidneys to filter to get these lymph nodes down. You want these lymph nodes down. If a lymph node swells and goes down, I'm okay. If a lymph node swells and doesn't go down, I'm not okay. And pulling on the lymph system, we've talked about this before, pulling on the lymph system aggressively without kidneys filtering can cause swollen lymph nodes. Okay, but let's get the kidneys to filter and then those swollen lymph nodes will go down.
That's all that is. And you've got to get that filtered. What I would probably do, sweetheart, is go up on a lemon juice fast. You know, get up on a lemon. Now, you could add some orange juice, I mean, fresh, 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 good oranges. You could add those two together, make it a little pleasurable. But those two would be really pulling on those lymph nodes. Something like that I would do or go on a grape, extended grape fast, you know, 10, 20 days, and get keep getting that body moving that way. If you can't afford the herbs, uh, then go to uh, the, the teas. And, and, and I'll tell you another one that would be good for you is the three lung tea. They, they are for swollen lymph nodes and stuff. So the three lung tea has to make up hardened mucus and stuff like that. So you can mix the three lung tea with the heal all tea. That makes for a cheap mix and it'll last you for weeks. So that's a good way to go. Uh, and then do your fasting. Do your juice fasting. And that will help pull on those lymph nodes and the kidneys to kaboot. Uh, look at your adrenal glands, though. You know, you might want to just keep working on those adrenal glands because they turn on the kidneys. So uh, you could even do one kidney formula and one adrenal. And then, you know, watch your blood pressure. Look at all that stuff. I'm going to have to pull off of here because we're going to have a Christmas party. And oh, by the way, Merry Christmas to every one of you. Happy holidays who don't celebrate Christmas. Uh, I like the Santa Claus effect. There's so many beautiful questions here. I just, I go crazy. I could just spend hours here. But, uh, uh, I've been eating tons of, oh, look at this one. This is nice. Uh, this is from Hay Hayden ICM. Uh, he's been uh, kicking it up with tons of grapefruit, oranges, lemons, and my tonsils have gone back to normal size, and it's only been a month. Good job, my man. Good job. You know, that's just what it's about. And tonsils are lymph nodes, sweetheart. You have to understand that going back to uh, 04116MKRN. I love you guys. You're all good. And just keep working it, you know. Don't get, uh, you know, if you run across too much of a, 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 uh, a roadblock, call here and then have one of the guys help you here. But uh, you're all doing really well. So have fun. I'll be making a video probably about this weekend, although I'm going to have him set this up. Maybe I can come in this weekend and do two or three hours and knock all this out. I know you don't like the long videos, but uh, for me, I just got to grab and go when I can. So thank you so much. You're all so divine to me. You're all such a blessed ones. And remember that. You know, we're all from the one God. And just remember to give that love forth and be love. You know, just be love. When someone comes up to you, just be pure love. There's nothing any neater than to meet someone that's just pure love, is there? I mean, that's just the beauty of it. And when we recognize that everyone is from the one God, maybe instead of killing everybody, we'll love each other and give everybody a big hug. <laughs> so I love you all. You have a fun day. And I hope we can get this up. Probably won't get up till the night because it's you know, everything today, but you have a great, great uh, holiday. May the blessings be, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.